In this video, I'm going to show you now how to set up uh, for proper um, recording. The thing is, the movie scene capture legacy won't work with this because there's too much movement. Anytime you have too much movement, you need to go get the plugins. I'm going to recommend two plugins. The first one is Apple Pro Res, which you're going to click. And don't click restart now because we're going to go get another one. We're also going to go get movie render queue. So see down here, both of these aren't installed. So I'm going to restart my computer. It'll save the project. Let's get that up and going. Okay, so the movie render queue and Apple ProRes have been set up. So what I want to do now is set up my scene. I'm going to slow the camera down to one or two. So that, that way when I move stuff, uh, you know, and this obviously this clip is clipped and you know that's how it was recorded so you want to obviously set things up but actually i don't have my camera set up so let's do that first because no point setting this up uh right so I'm, what i'm going to do is to keep it simple um i still i'm going to change it to 16 by 9 dslr and if i do this in one camera i need to do it in, in all and what i want to also do a good habit right now is press f2 and call this cam one now probably most of the time with green screen we're going to just use one camera now to keep it simple under focus settings you could put it under disable so everything's all in focus but i like to have a nice depth of field look uh, sometimes if you have a nice environment like right now we have a 35 millimeter lens we can change this to an 80 millimeter lens and obviously it'll change the way it you know uh, zooms in on our our, our cat uh, so i'm going to go to manual and you're going to see right away it's out of focus but i'm going to show you how to fix that so what we're going to do is well the first thing we want to do is place our camera and as you can see here i'm in pilot mode so however i place this this is what it's going to end up recording so right there i'll assume is pretty good so under the transform track under the camera which i call cam one i'm going to click a keyframe so right here so that's where the camera will start let's just see if it worked here Oh, it would probably help if I have my playhead in the right spot. So let's move that to the beginning. And this here needs to be moved like that. So my cat will start here. And what I want to do is if you hit this button, move this here out of the way. You can't see it really, but there's a little. So that'll bring me to the beginning. And what I want to do is where it says manual focus, click on that go to where my focus settings are and click on this eyedropper tool and there you go now my cat's in focus if i had a bunch of stuff in the background it would be somewhat out of focus and it would look really good so there's my cat playing and remember i extended it to 25 seconds and that's pretty good so i'm pretty happy so really simple point to camera maybe change this to a higher lens like 80 or 100 so that you can get a depth of field you can even go higher if you want and then what we want to do is here's another thing that might be important um now nah, well i think I'm, I'm not going to even talk about that so let's just uh, have that ready so now we're ready to render so what i want to do is we're going to click make sure that this movie render queue and you'll know because if you click on it you'll see this and what i'm going to do is click on here and i'm going to change this this is really important that we change this right now Click on this, get rid of that, go get Apple ProRes. So instead of a bunch of image sequences, Apple ProRes creates a video, which I find is easier to work with with, with students. And let's just leave that there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get anti-aliasing, which is what helps with the uh, jittery when it records in CG. So it's really uh, an important kind of tool. And usually I go three and five, and that's usually good enough. If ever there's a lot of movement, if I recall, I think it's the first one you can make four or five. And it's important to check this off here. Uh, and so let's just, so we got Apple ProRes, deferred rendering. Um, I'm going to leave that like that. Anti-aliasing, three and five. Go output. And this part, what I want to do is it's probably better if you went higher than this but for now let's go 1080p and what we're going to do is i'm going to check where do i want to download this and i'm going to put it on my d drive select folder and i'm going to press accept 
and I'm going to click on this again. Now, if I want to keep this for the next time, I'm going to go over here, save as preset, and I'll call it 111 or ProRes or something like that might be a better, you know. Uh, so, and then I'm going to click accept, and then I'm going to render local, and then I wait for the results. So this will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I open a default project in Premiere Pro to bring in the clip to test it. Uh, so I'm going to click import. And it was called 1. So I'm going to just click on 1. And I'm going to, it was 1080p. And so I have this at full. So you're going to see the quality as it, I'm going to press play. Again, the sound effects won't carry over from Unreal Engine. So you have to keep a file with your sound effects. And so right now I'm looking, I know there's some clipping, but that was done in the original green screen. So very happy with this. This looks really sharp and looks good. So uh, that is excellent. So, uh, you know, you do your clips like this, you can bring them in and string together your video with all your different green screens and so on. If you have any other questions, please let me know.